Hey everyone, exams are over so I can finally start working on the game some more. Anyways, today I've got a quick update for you since I haven't really done a whole lot. Um, first thing I want to show you is something that's not very visible. It's that I have multi-threading now. I've created a thread pool that has eight worker threads that will help load chunks. Uh, the threads are dedicated to the loading phase of uh, chunk generation. So as you can see, these uh, chunks are popping into view pretty quick, even with fraps running. So it, it really made a big difference. It's probably about a 60 or 70% speed boost when loading the world like this. And the initial loading phase of the world is almost tripled because it's vastly parallel. I haven't tried it on any quad cores, but on my dual core it seems to help quite a bit. Uh, the next feature is some occlusion calling that was much needed. If you look underground, you'll see all these caves. These caves have a whole lot of geometry associated with them that gets sent to the graphics card. And it, it really ends up kind of bogging down the game, especially if you have a really big cave system under a forest or something like that. It's just way too much geometry. So why send all that to the graphics card if, it, if there's no way you could see it? So instead, I've created an occlusion calling algorithm. I haven't created it, but I saw it on, I've saw read about it online. It's a flood fill algorithm where you just simply go from cell to cell, checking to see if the edges of the chunk are completely occluded by blocks. And if they are occluded, you can't flow to that cell. And I use this flood fill to determine which chunks could possibly be seen by the eye. So with that in mind, I will go over here and then turn on occlusion and you should see yes most of the caves uh, disappear not all of them because the flood fill algorithm is approximate but it does make a big difference and usually adds up to about a five or six FPS boost sometimes more sometimes less but uh, you know every little bit counts and the algorithm itself basically takes no CPU time and I only have to compute it when going between chunks so it's not even computing the flood fill all the time the last feature that I want to show you is uh, new particles whoa found a bug anyways <laughs> new particles um, I mean they look the same but I just changed the way they're rendered I used to be sending uh, I used to be computing them vastly on, mostly on the CPU and I'd be sending four vertices per quad to the graphics card instead I'm sending only a single vertice and then I am expanding it into a quad in the geometry shader and it seems to be quite a bit faster and the billboards face the screen better and uh, so the next step is to just be able to pick them up uh, additionally they also unlike before they react to sunlight and block light now let me grab some light so if I break them and then place the light um, well I lied. I thought it was working, but it's not. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. It seems to be kind of working. I will fix this bug and get back to y'all. Hopefully by the next video, I'll have uh, you'll be able to pick these up and craft stuff with them and do all sorts of cool things. Uh, I don't even know what's going to be in the next video yet. But stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like.